Welcome to this video on ELISA in clinical diagnostics, a powerful tool for disease detection. In the next few minutes, we will explore the fundamentals of the enzyme-linked immunoabsorbent assay. You'll have a deeper understanding of the important role ELISA plays in diagnosing and managing a wide range of medical conditions. ELISA, or enzyme-linked immunoabsorbent assay, is a widely used laboratory technique that allows for the detection and quantification of specific proteins, antibodies, or antigens in a variety of sample types. This method takes advantage of the highly specific binding interactions between antigens and their corresponding antibodies, combined with an enzyme-based detection system that produces a measurable signal corresponding to the concentration of the target molecule. ELISA is a relatively traditional biotechnology. Since its initial development in the early 1970s, ELISA has become a widely used technique in biology and clinical diagnostic laboratories. Today, ELISA is used to test for antibodies of SARS-CoV-2 or COVID-19 in response to a global pandemic causing the complete shutdown of multiple countries. Now that we have a basic understanding of what ELISA technology is, let's delve into its working principle in a clear and concise manner. Before we proceed with the explanation, let's first familiarize ourselves with some concepts, such as immunoabsorbent. Immunoabsorbent refers to a material or surface capable of selectively binding specific antibodies or antigens through highly specific immune interactions. The testing principle of ELISA is based on the highly specific binding interactions between antigens and their corresponding antibodies. The assay leverages the affinity of these immune molecules to detect and quantify target proteins, antibodies, or antigens in biological samples. In an ELISA, a sample is added to the microplate well coated with a capture antibody or antigen. If the target molecule is present in the sample, it will bind specifically to the immobilized capture molecule. Unbound components are then washed away to minimize background noise. Next, a detection antibody or antigen conjugated to an enzyme is added, which will bind to the captured target molecule, forming a complex. After additional washing steps to remove unbound detection molecules, a substrate specific to the enzyme is introduced. The enzyme catalyzes a reaction with the substrate, producing a measurable color change or signal. The intensity of this signal is directly proportional to the concentration of the target molecule in the sample. Various formats of ELISA have been developed to cater to different testing needs. These include direct, indirect, sandwich, and competitive ELISAs, each with their unique advantages and suitable applications. The choice of the ELISA format depends on factors such as the target molecule's nature, the required sensitivity, and the availability of specific antibodies or antigens. Each type is described below with a diagram illustrating how the analytes and antibodies are bonded and used. The term direct ELISA refers to a specific type of ELISA technique in which a primary antibody labeled with an enzyme directly bonds to the target antigen that has been immobilized on a surface such as a microplate. The term direct refers to the fact that there is no need for a second antibody to detect the primary antibody, as the enzyme label is directly conjugated to the primary antibody itself. The term indirect ELISA refers to an ELISA technique using two antibodies, a primary antibody that specifically binds to the target antigen immobilized on a surface, and a secondary enzyme labeled antibody that recognizes and binds to the primary antibody. The term indirect indicates that the detection occurs through the enzyme-labeled secondary antibody, not a labeled primary antibody. Indirect ELISAs are more commonly used than direct ELISAs due to their lower background noise, higher sensitivity, and flexibility. However, they require more steps and longer experimental times. A competitive ELISA measures the target antigen indirectly by competing with a known amount of labeled antigen for limited antibody binding sites. The term competitive arises from this competition between the labeled and target antigens for the antibody sites. 
the signal intensity is inversely proportional to the target antigen concentration. Competitive ELISAs are useful when the antigen only has one epitope or when finding a pair of antibodies that recognize different epitopes without interference is difficult. This assay can be more sensitive in detecting low concentrations of antigens compared to other ELISA formats. The term sandwich ELISA refers to an ELISA technique in which the target antigen is sandwiched between two antibodies. A capture antibody immobilized on the surface and a detection antibody labeled with an enzyme. The capture antibody selectively binds the antigen from the sample, and then the detection antibody binds to a different site on the antigen. This sandwich formation with the antigen between two antibodies gives the techniques its name. Sandwich ELISAs are highly specific and sensitive due to the dual recognition of the antigen, making them suitable for detecting low concentration antigens in complex samples. ELISA is a versatile and widely used technique in clinical diagnostics due to its sensitivity, specificity, and reliability. Some of the key applications of ELISA in clinical diagnostics are summarized below. First is diagnosing diseases. ELISA is super useful for identifying infections like HIV, hepatitis B and C, Lyme disease, and even some parasites. It does this by detecting antibodies or antigens in blood samples. Second is testing for allergies. If you want to know what's causing an allergic reaction, ELISA can help. It measures the levels of allergen-specific IgE antibodies in your blood. Third is, is in monitoring drugs. Doctors use ELISA to measure how much of a specific drug or its byproducts are in your blood. This helps them find the right dosage and check if the treatment is working. Fourth is detecting cancer markers. ELISA detects cancer markers by quantifying specific proteins or antigens, which are associated with cancer cells in biological samples like blood or tissue. The test utilizes antibodies that selectively bind to these markers, producing a detectable signal proportional to the concentration of the marker, thus aiding in cancer diagnosis, prognosis, and monitoring. Okay, next let's chat about why ELISA is such a fantastic technique. First off, it's got incredible sensitivity and specificity, which means it can detect super tiny amounts of a target molecule and do so with minimal false results. Plus, it's pretty easy to use and super adaptable, so you can customize it for various testing needs. Oh, and did I mention it's great for handling loads of samples at once? That's a huge time saver. Now, when it comes to cost, ELISA is often more budget friendly compared to other diagnostic methods such as PCR or mass spectrometry. So you can get accurate results without breaking the bank. And you know what else is awesome? There are loads of commercial ELISA kits available, which makes the whole testing process streamlined and standardized. It's like having a handy ELISA guide, making everything a breeze. Some well-known brands include the R&D Systems, the Thermo Fisher Scientific, the AbCam, BioRad, Sigma Altrich. These kits provide rapid, convenient, and accurate solutions for various research and diagnostic applications. Remember, knowledge is power, and understanding tools like ELISA can help us create a healthier world. Thank you for watching.